Hey everybody, welcome to another Catfish Review. This is Season 8, season eight Episode 8, The Jarn and Cachet. So it starts off with Neve cracking the joke, as always. He is always cracking the joke. So we actually get, well, we, they actually get a video submission um, from this guy named Adonis, and it's for his brother named The Jarn. And they live in Detroit, Michigan, and the guy is 38. I'm sorry, 38? Okay, uh, like wow, and this guy, Dijon, didn't even know what catfish was. How do you not know that? Just how? He has kids, twelve, eight, and seven. Um, he was very precise when he said how long they have known each other. He said they have known each other for twenty-one months, and they met on plenty of fish. And he says that Cache is 28. So, okay, 10, 10 year age different. Okay, okay. And Cammy's hair, she had her hair up in like a bun and this right here. That, that was pretty, very pretty. Keep that up, girl. And he says he owes, owns two companies. He owns a carpentry company and a towing company. So, this man got it going on all around. Like, this guy, I don't understand. How are you single? How? Like, you got everything going on. So, someone will want you. He was engaged, but the, I guess the engagement got broken off. So, he took some time to himself, and then he's been talking to Caché. He's tried to meet up with Caché, like, eight times, but she didn't show up. She sent other pictures. She sent naughty pictures of herself with her face. And she he returned the favor, of course. And Dijon texts back the next day. He's like, oh, Neve and Cammy, it's actually something I want to show you. So Neve and Cammy pull up, and they're actually in a ring shop. He bought this woman a ring. You've heard her voice, but you've never seen her face on a camera. You haven't met her face to face. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? And Cammy was so cute. She was like, can I try it on? T, can I try it on? She see, see something. And uh, we see this girl named Barbie. And Barbie is actually the girl who's there. Barbie is Cache's pictures. You know, so this girl went and stole this girl's pictures. And they found the girl through Ebony. Ebony. Nakia. And I kind of feel bad for him, to be honest, because he don't know. He didn't know what catfishing was. And he looked really disappointed when he found out that it actually wasn't her so we find they find um his her cousin and her cousin's name is sid and cache uh she says cache is my cousin so and they were like can you give us more information i'm sorry i can't give you more information about that she just didn't want to put her cousin on blast but she did say that she does this a lot um, and sid says she tries to tell her she has told her on multiple times to stop, and she hasn't. And then when they talked to her on the phone, they was like, she was like, she was crying and laughing. And I'm like, why is she crying and laughing? And this is so funny. So Deep and Cammy was watching the first episode of the season. So that must have been when it premiered and they were still working on episodes. And the house that they go see don't seem lived in. We find out that this girl's name is Jere. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. But Jere, um... She has these two things right here. I don't know what they called. Um, she's crying. She's nervous. She reminded me of that girl from, I think it was Kim and Matt, se season seven, somewhere around there. Um, that girl was quirky too. But she's 30 and she has no kids. And she was like, oh, yeah, this just happened. This just happened. I, I didn't mean to. You full of shit. You meant to do this. Like, yeah, you may have feelings for the guy, but you meant to do this. And she said she had been catfish fishing before catfish became what it was. So, what, you've been catfishing 10, 12 years? You've been catfishing since you were, like, what, 18 years old? Get it together. And she did him real dirty. She was like, we could still be friends. He brought you an engagement ring. And then she heard that, she started crying. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. And she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this to you. And she had a terrible childhood. And she weird. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong being weird, but she's just a little extra weird, you know. But Neves was like, I don't care about your weirdness. I care that you're hurting people. I care that you keep catfishing people. That's what I care about. And they asked her when she, um, how many profiles did she have. She said she had 17. 
And then they ask her, so how did you get the naughty pictures? She had a guy talk to Cache and get the nudes. So that's how that happened. And she kept saying she didn't want to hurt him. And she's sorry he, she hurt him, but she's not sorry for the good times. She's just sorry that she hurt him. And he's, so Dijon is like, how do we start fresh? She walks out the room, comes back, shakes his hands, be like, hi, my name's Gigi. Okay, that girl's weird. And she's quirky. And she says she'll stop catfishing. And, you know, Neve's on their way back out, out of the place. He asks Dijon, do you think they'll still be friends? And he said, no. So two months later, he said he had spoke to her. And, you know, Cammy asked, what did he do with the ring? He said that he exchanged it for some earrings. And Gervais, she says she's still making profiles. But, however, she did make her own profile with her own pictures on Plenty of Fish. So, that is it for the, um, this uh, review. Come back next week and we will review um, it again. Bye.